Well, good morning, folks. Welcome back to the grumpy old git in the corner. Um, although it'll probably be afternoon before you get to see this be by the time I've uh, got it posted. I've had a very busy morning um, talking to some of my old biker mates that uh, I haven't been in touch with for a while from around the world. Yeah, I used to be uh, friends with uh, quite a lot of clubs, especially all over the continent, France, Spain, Italy, but uh, that's why the video's a bit late today, I've been a bit busy. So let's see, <laughs> now th this one got to me, uh, North Korea, oh Jim Rongan, whatever his bloody name is. Uh, we all know he's been throwing rockets around for uh, quite some time now. None of them actually doing what they were supposed to do, I don't think. Um, uh, but he's been frightening the hell out of China and Japan with the bloody things. Um, with one even going over Japan, if I remember rightly. Um, I can't confirm that, but I think I remember seeing that somewhere. But this time he tried to launch a spy satellite. <laughs> but this ended up with um, what SpaceX call a, a rapid disassembly. Uh, crashed into the sea. Um, what do I think of this? Well, to be quite honest, uh, my opinion was he'd, he'd probably trying to launch some sort of stealth submarine spy system or something. <laughs> he may as well, because he can't seem to get anything in the air properly, can he? <laughs> anyway, old Ginger Winger's back, in he? Old Harry. Harry. Back in the limelight this time over his um, visa application. Now, they're questioning whether he admitted on the application that he took drugs. You know, he'd already admitted, and in, I think it was in one of his books that he took drugs, um, including weed, cocaine, magic mushrooms. But did he put this down on his application? <laughs> Well, if you do kick him out of America, don't send him here. We don't want him back. <laughs> but it's interesting with what he said in that uh, book or the interview, whatever it was, about where he was taking these drugs. I don't mean physically taking them, but where he was partaking, should I say. Excuse me while I bump start my lungs. Um, yeah. Now, there's a story within a story, isn't it? What goes on behind the doors at these uh, elite hunting parties and what have you. Now, I've seen some of their parties when the two lads were young. Uh, Harry and Wills, when they used to come down to Rock at Padstow in Cornwall for a break um, we used to see the hoo-ha Henry's running round and the, the mayhem they caused down there <laughs> but you know this is the perfect opportunity for a whistleblower isn't it whistleblowers you listening you been involved in any of these parties want to write your own book 15 minutes of fame with a little bit of money involved as well I'm sure it would sell <laughs> Or is he um, saving that for his next book, you know, Harry 2.0, how oh, I fucked up the royals. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that, but hey, I have now, haven't I? <laughs> now, it's surprising to see um, an advertising campaign that's kicking off. And even more surprising, it's from Nokia. Remember them? I think they're Finnish. 
or Swedish or something. Um, back in the day, they were the top phone. You know, if you didn't have a Nokia back then, they were up there with the same sort of status as the the new iPhones and Android phones now. You know, just back in the day, no internet contact or anything like that back then. Took an absolute age to write a text. <laughs> but these uh, are what they call dumb phones. No internet connection, nothing like that. But have they seen this gap opening up in the market for these? Are they starting to see now that people don't want emergency alerts? They don't want a screen in their face all day. They don't want the internet putting out propaganda. You want a phone nowadays, that's what you've got to accept because they're on them. But now, now, well, I think uh, there's a couple of other companies as well that are looking into it. Um, they're doing the dumb phones again. But, yeah, the incoming propaganda. Yeah, we know it's coming. Especially to the internet-capable phones. And it will be. It will come in over your computer. As soon as you turn your computer on, the propaganda will be there. <coughs> but it just shows that how many people are not buying the bullshit. People who are physically asking for these types of phones. That's heartwarming, to be honest. Because it, more, it means more people are waking up to what's being done. And how they're using this technology against us. Anyway guys, I'll leave that there for now. Um, I'm not going to do a live tomorrow. Uh, a, a video tomorrow. Um... I think I'm going to do a live. It won't be a, a five hour job or anything, just the usual sort of quarter past two till about five o'clock. Um, so if you want to come and join in, come and join in. Everybody's welcome, bar two that are banned anyway. And uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll do a live tomorrow afternoon. I, I feel like that at the moment. So. Okay, guys, thank you for all your support for this little channel. It's always appreciated. I don't ask for much. Well, I don't ask for anything, really, but a thumbs up would be nice. Welcome to the new subs, although uh, the faceless ones don't seem to want to give me an alert that people have subscribed but uh, I have had personal contact from some that have so I know you're there welcome to you guys and as always until tomorrow stay safe stay strong and don't buy into the bullshit respects people <laughs>